Grade 4 math, number 78. Multiply a fraction by a whole number using models. Okay, if you remember from before, a multiple is the product of a number and a counting number. The multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and it goes up higher and higher. The counting numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like that. So it's the product, see the products here, of a counting number and the number, okay? Now, we're going to use models to multiply fractions. Tala practices the guitar for three-fourths hour every day. She has a concert to perform in four days. How much time will she practice in the four days? Day one is three-fourths hours, and then another three-fourths hour on day two, and day three, and day four. So here's a circle representing an hour, and it's split into fourths, and three are highlighted, so that's the three-fourths for each day, okay? Now, using a model, we could just count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 fourths. See? The other way to do it would be to say 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths plus 3 fourths, which would still give us 12 fourths if we added the numerators. Okay? Multiplying them, we would do 4 times 3 fourths. 1 times 3 fourths is Three-fourths, that's the identity property, where anything multiplied by a one stays the same and keeps its identity. One times three, multiplying the whole number times the numerator, gives us three, and we keep the denominator four, three-fourths. Two times three-fourths would be the two times the numerator three, which would be six-fourths. Three times three-fourths would be three times the numerator three. Three times three is nine, that's nine-fourths. And then 4 times 3 fourths would be 4 times 3, which is 12, over the 4, keeping the denominator. Now we've got 12 fourths. We need to simplify that. We can't leave it with, as an improper fraction. We ask ourselves, how many times does 4 fit into 12? 3. 3 times 4 is 12. So we know that there's 3 hours that Tala is going to practice before her concert. Okay? We can solve a fraction multiplication problem using a pattern. We have 3 eighths times 3, or 3 times 3 eighths. Here's eighth split up in boxes. There's 8 eighths, 8 eighths, and 8 eighths, stand, it, which stands for one hole, one hole, and one hole. And then 3 of the eighths are highlighted in each one. Now we could add them up right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, using the model. Multiplying it. And adding it would be a little different. Adding it would be 3 eighths plus 3 eighths plus 3 eighths. We can add the 3 threes and get 9. Multiplying it, we would say the 3 whole number times the 3 numerator would be 9. We move the denominator across and get 9 eighths. Now it's an improper fraction and we can't leave it that way. We know that there's an 8 eighths hiding in here with a 1 eighth left over. So that means that we've got a whole one and an eighth. Because remember, if the numerator and denominator are the same, it represents one. You have eight parts of eight. So now we have one and one eighth. See? If we had filled in all eight of these plus one more, that would have been nine eighths. Okay? Let's try this one. We have four times four fifths. Here's a bar of four fifths and another one and another one and another one. See? Five-fifths is a whole. But there's only four-fifths, and we've got it four times. We could count them. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen fifths. See? We could add them with repeated addition. Four-fifths plus four-fifths plus four-fifths plus four-fifths. Four plus four is eight, plus four is twelve, plus four is sixteen-fifths. We can also multiply it and do 4 times the numerator 4 and get 16 fifths. Being an improper fraction, we need to simplify it. 5 fits into that 16 3 times with 1 left remaining, with a remainder of 1. See? It's like saying there's a 5 fifths and a 5 fifths and a 5 fifths with a little 1 fifth left over. A whole and a whole and a whole one with a little 1 fifth left over, 3 and 1 fifth. Okay?
keep that denominator the same. All right, multiply and solve and then simplify. We have 2 times 7 twelfths. Here's a box of 12 twelfths and a box of 12 twelfths. Seven of them are highlighted here and seven of them are highlighted here. So we've got 1, 2 times 7 twelfths. Okay, we could count them. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 twelfths. We could add the 7 twelfths plus the 7 twelfths in each of them and get 14 twelfths, okay? Or we could multiply the 2 times the 7 numerator and get 14 over 12. Either way, we're going to end up with an improper fraction of 14 twelfths. There's a 12 twelfths hiding inside of it. 12 goes into 14 one time with a little 2 twelfths left over. 1 and 2 twelfths needs to be simplified. We ask ourselves, can a 2, 3, 5, or 7 go into either one of these in the fraction, the numerator or the denominator? Well, 2 can go into both of them. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 12 divided by 2 is 6, and we end up with 1 and 1 6. Hmm, okay. Let's look at this one. 4 times 1 third. 1 third and 1 third and 1 third and 1 third. We can add them all up and get 4 thirds. Or we could say 4 times the 1 numerator is 4, over 3. Either way, we've got an improper fraction with a little 3 thirds hiding inside of it with a 1 third left over. 3 goes into 4 one time with 1 left over. Our answer is 1 and 1 third, and it doesn't need to be simplified anymore. Now we have 3 times 4, 6. Each circle is split into 6 parts. The blue ones represent the 4, 6. We have 3 of them because we're doing 3 times 4, 6. 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12 over 6. We could also do 3 times 4 numerator is 12 and put it over the 6 denominator. Either way, 6 fits into 12 2 times. We get an answer of 2 whole as the, as the final answer that doesn't need to be simplified or anything. No fraction to it either. It just came out as an even 2. Now we've got 7 times 2 thirds. These are all broken up into thirds. There's seven of them, and two-thirds of each one is highlighted in orange. We need to add them up. We've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen of them. Fourteen-thirds. Or we could have said seven times the two numerator is fourteen over three. Either way, we've got an improper fraction of fourteen over three. We need to figure out how many times three can fit into the fourteen so that we can simplify it. 14 divided by 3 is 4 with a remainder of 2. 3 times 4 is 12, 13, 14. See, 2 left over. So these are hiding inside of the 14 thirds. 3 thirds, 3 thirds, 3 thirds, 3 thirds. See, and they each make 4 whole. And there's a 2 thirds left over, which is 4 and 2 thirds. So that's how we can use models to help us multiply fractions with whole numbers, okay? Draw little pictures to help you figure it out. Remember that the denominator stays the same. Remember that you can multiply the whole number by the numerator and keep the denominator and then simplify it from there, okay? We're going to keep talking about math and fractions, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!